team, and here is another episode of Cheat to Chic. We are going to be making craft pizza for supper tonight. And this guy at the Dollarama was $4. And all we have to do is to source the rest of it is we need half a cup of lukewarm water and you're gonna gradually mix that into your crust. And then all we need to do is just get some cheese and some pepperoni or any type of meat. You would have to get those items elsewhere. With that being said, let's get started. It smells absolutely delicious and I think it's because of the herbs and the parmesan that's in here. I am really surprised that it comes with your own pizza sauce already and then it has the pouch here and it also has your pouch of spices as well as your parmesan cheese. So parmesan cheese and you can split this pack up. Uh, Parmesan cheese is right here, and this is your spices, and then we have our dough mix. So gradually add one third to half a cup of lukewarm water into the mixture, and then you want to either mix it by your hand or mix it by a fork into a bowl. What we will go ahead and start to mix, it says one third to half a cup. So. Let's just start with one third. And before I start to pour my water, I'm just kind of making sure that all the little tiny big clumps are kind of out of the way. And what I'm doing is I'm mixing it in the middle, kind of like how you would make pasta, okay? With yolk um, and a well. So I'm just doing a well and I'm purely just mixing it in as I go. I'm gonna have to hold it while I do this. It's looking pretty gooey and consistent right now. Perfect guys, so we have formed our ball with our dough. It doesn't look that big, okay, but it's gonna rise. So what we're gonna do is we are going to cover our dough and let it rise in a warm place. I would say about 10 to 15 minutes tops. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it right here and just let it rise at room temperature. And we'll be back once it has risen. Um, in the meantime, what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and shred our mozzarella, cut up our meat, our toppings to get it all prepped so that when the dough is risen and we're just about to uh, shape it and then put our toppings on and then we'll put it into the oven. I'm using mozzarella cheese. You could use cheddar, you can use marble. Honestly, it's whatever you have in the fridge. Let's just go ahead and get this cheese grated. Okay, so before I grate my skin off, I think we're done with this. So we'll go ahead and empty our little guy. Now we'll go ahead and um, get our pepperoni. Now I got a whole stick and it's Chris Brothers pepperoni. Not entirely too sure if you know what Chris Brothers pepperoni is, um, but if you do, you know that it's really good quality meat. Um, if you don't look it up, Chris Brothers uh, pepperoni is amazing. They come in all different types. I got mild, um, but this guy here, and I went to the deli, this was only $4.59. And like that's gonna be more than one pizza, right? So you're definitely gonna have leftovers. I suggest if you can get these pizza kits, grab them in a handful, grab them by you know three or four at the time, because you may have leftovers. You might want another pizza. So of course I'm. We're only doing one pizza, so I'm not gonna chop up this whole pepperoni because I did buy extra pizza kits like I just mentioned. Um, so I do have extras on hand, which is great. Okay, so that's good. All right, guys, so we have risen our pizza dough and it's been taking about 20 minutes. Now, if your pizza dough doesn't rise as much as it should have within the 20 minutes, stick it in the oven, turn your oven on, preheat. It, I think it naturally goes at 350, but just turn it on for like two minutes, three minutes, 
and then turn it right off and it'll actually rise the dough even more okay so once our dough has risen we don't want it to stick to our pan so you can either grease it i don't prefer greasy pizza others swear by it but personally i'm going to just take some flour and just put a little bit into the center of our pan and just roll 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 with your hand and basically you're getting a light coating just kind of like a cornmeal but instead it won't stick to the pan which is great right all right guys so just kind of like lightly just you know put a little flour on it and then we're just going to flip it over and take it out of our pan. It should come out, I promise. Is it coming out? It's it's falling out. It's it's falling out, guys. It's absolutely falling out. Um, that's okay, there it goes. Okay, so we just grabbed the rest of the stuff at the bottom because it should have, we should have just scraped it off originally, but that's okay. Gravity can take its own course, right? So we have our dough and we have it lightly coated with the flour. So now all we're gonna do is roll it out. And to roll it out, personally, I just flour my surface so it doesn't stick to the surface. And then just take this, put a little flour on top of it and roll. And you wanna make sure that you have enough flour on your surfaces because some of the dough might stick a little bit. Once we get it all oops, rolled out, we'll go ahead and we'll put it into our pan. Now, I like mine a little bit bigger than this, so roll it out to whatever you like. Sometimes people just love to hand kind of press it into the pan. Um, I've seen the kiddos do that often with their parents, um, but yeah. Just do whatever makes you happy, guys. So I got my dough. So now we're just gonna stretch it and put it over to the pan. Now, once we have it on the pan, just we're gonna stretch it a little bit while we're on the pan, just so we can actually get a pizza. And I do have it stretched out on a 16 inch pizza pan, but really we're only forming a 12 inch, okay? I mean, it's not the best rolled out pizza, but hey, you're not gonna complain when you can get that much pizza from the Dollarama, okay? So we have that done. So now, oh right, we have to open up our can. So once we have our sauce all laid out, we're just gonna go ahead and roll it out. Okay, so that has been done. So now what we're gonna do is we already put our cheese in our condiments and we already prepped that a while ago. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that out of the chiller now and we're gonna go ahead and top our pizza. Once our pizza sauce has been placed onto our pizza dough. We are going to then cut off the herbs and we're going to go ahead and place those in just briskly over the um, sauce, okay? And make sure, cause they smell delicious to be honest with you guys. That's what drew me to this box, just the smell. I was like, what is that in the aisle? It smells so good. Oh, I can smell it from here, it smells delicious. Perfect, so now we have our cut up condiments. And again, you can do vegetarian, you can do whatever pizza that you absolutely love. I'm just doing a regular pepperoni and cheese pizza. That's it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, and it's gonna serve your family. And cheap. So our pepperoni is almost on there. And once your pepperoni is on there, go ahead and top your veggies if you do have veggies or you decide to put veggies on your pizza. Once you have done that, top it with cheese. So we are going to preheat our oven and don't forget to preheat this for 425 and this is roughly gonna bake around 13 to 15 minutes, okay? All right, top with your cheese. This mozzarella cheese is amazing and I told you the pepperoni I am using. I am using, I'll be honest with you, I'm using Kirkland mozzarella. I find it really creamy. Um, and I am using Chris Brothers pepperoni. It is a premium brand pepperoni. Okay, perfect. So what we're gonna do now is pop that into the oven for 10 to 13 minutes. Once your oven has been put at the right temperature and it's preheated, and then we'll take it out and see what it looks like. So for the remaining, don't forget we are gonna do a Parmesan crust. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is butter our crust. And we are simply just going to get some, a little bit of butter, I just used a teaspoon, and you're just going to get a brush, melt it first, and then just brush your crust with the butter. 
after we have done all of your buttering around your crust, you're gonna go ahead and apply the packet of Parmesan that they've provided in their meal kit. So now you just take your Parmesan and you just go ahead and simply apply it around the crust. There we go, guys. So we are set and ready to go. We're gonna put that in there again for 10 to 13 minutes at 425 until you get the right kind of height for your dough and then take it out. All right, so it's been about 13 um, to 15 minutes. I've cooked mine for 13 minutes tops. This is the final product and this is on a 16 inch pizza pan. So it's a little bit over a 12 inch, I would say maybe 13 inch tops, but that is supper for tonight, guys. So with that being said, this literally costs less than, I'm gonna say $4 for the packet. You can get cheese on sale sometimes for $5. Get a stick of pepperoni if you just want pepperoni pizza like I'm doing for another $5. I'm gonna say it's gonna be 15 or less to feed your family. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I hope that you can go ahead and replicate this and find this special packet yourself in your own Dollarama. And please comment below and let me know what you thought of your pizza that you made. And would you do it again? I also wanna know that as well. So please comment below and let me know. Please like, please share if you thought this was a great um, recipe and that you want to share with your loved ones or others. And also, please don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate your support so far, and the more subscriptions, the better. So with that being said, thank you for tuning in to Cheat to Chic, and we'll catch you on the next video. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.